Hey what's up guys, it's Inu here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make animation videos on your Android device. And I already made a video about this and it's pretty insane how much of a feedback that video got. This is part 2 and with all being said, let's get started. Alright, so the first step is to go ahead and draw your character on Adobe Draw. The link is going to be down in description below for this app. You can go ahead and download it. It's free. So you need to go ahead and draw your character in different layers. So as you can see right here, I have a ton of layers. And let's go ahead and go through the layers that you need to be drawing. So the first one is the body. Go for something simple, certainly when you're starting doing YouTube, you don't want to make things complicated for you, you just want a simple body like this one. Okay, so let's move on to another thing, and it's pretty obvious, let's go ahead to the hair. You can draw any hairstyle you want, and yeah, I just draw this hair. You can just, instead of drawing a hair, you can draw like a beanie, or a hat, or whatever you think you like. Now let's go ahead now right here to the faces. So you need to go ahead and draw different faces. So this is the wall face. This is the um, angry face. And this right here is the happy face or the normal face. And those are the faces. And as you can see, let's go ahead and choose this one right here. And if you go down, I actually only draw two hands, two hand styles. But um, yeah, you can draw more hands. I draw the hands up, hands down, and that's it. This is what you need to do. Divide your character uh, using layers, hair, body, face, and hand. Those are the essential things. Let's say you want your character to do an angry face with hands down that's it you got it you want an angry face with hands up there you go so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and save um positions of your character different positions like angry uh happy or whatever save as many ones as you can so let's go ahead and save this position right here let's go and save it make sure you press on copy image to gallery png with a transparent background that's really important and there you go this is the first photo let's go ahead and just um maybe change this face right over here let's go for this one right over here as you can see i'm going to change the hands too let's go ahead and save this image right over here and save as many positions as you want it really depends on the scenario of your video if you want your character to be bored and then translate into an angry mood you can actually go ahead and do that just by changing the layers so yeah i'm making it as easy for you guys to understand as possible and i hope it makes sense so go ahead and just save as many positions as you can and now let's move on to the, the animating part which we are going to do in a different app Okay, now let's move on to Light Motion, which you're gonna find a link in the description below. You can download this app, it's also free. So go ahead and open it and then hit on the plus button, the media. And as you can see, these are the photos that we last saved on my device. And let's go ahead and choose any position that we just drew on Adobe Draw. So I just chose this character right over here and I'm going to maybe put it in the side right over here. Yeah, this is fine. And let's just say um, I want this character to last on my screen for like 10 seconds. So I'm just going to cut this right over here. And as you can see, this is going to last for just 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, I want my character to change its position so let's go ahead and just import a new position make sure that it matches our first position right over here and if you play with this back as you can see there's absolutely no transition this looks kind of boring so we are going to be using a method that the ob ones out a really famous animator uses so as you can see he always distorts the last frame between the two positions and it lasts only one frame which gives his animations this bouncy look so i learned this from his tutorial actually and we are going to replicate that so let's go ahead and give a little space for our um the frame that we're going to be distorting so let's go ahead and just move this by just one frame right over here just enough to squeeze one frame in to make sure that our animation look pretty smooth so let's go ahead and duplicate this one right over here 
and let's go ahead and just move it to this spot and then let's cut it from the back so it matches the frame right over here so let's go ahead and press on this frame in between these two positions and let's go ahead and just mess around with this skew and scale you're gonna find those options in this move and transform so first thing go ahead and tap right over here and move this the anchor point down below right over here it is very necessary you need to go ahead and do this now the second step that you need to do is to go ahead to the skew uh, the scale sorry and then go ahead and unlock this and then go ahead and just mess around with this right over here as you can see our character is getting slightly taller and let's go ahead to the skew and mess around with this top one and just distort it a little bit enough for our animation to look a little bit bouncy and more uh, smooth so as you can see if we play this back it looks way better than the first one so as I said, the Ob ones out, a really famous animator, use this method and you want to go ahead and use it because almost every animator that I watch uses this method and it actually works. This is how a lot of people make their animations. So every time you want to translate from a position to another, you want to make another frame and distort it by just a little bit which is going to give you this really cool bouncy look so let's go ahead and add another position right over here so let's go ahead and just duplicate this element and do it really quick now we learned we know what we're going to be doing let's go ahead and do it really fast so let's go ahead and create another frame right over here and then let's go to transform press on this move the anchor points down let's go now to the scale let's go ahead and unlock this make our character just a little bit taller and let's go to this queue and let's mess around with this queue a little bit and now let's go ahead and add another position to media and let's go ahead to uh, maybe this one right over here and let's go and put it try to match it and if we play the video back we should see that the effect is actually working so yeah this is how to make animation videos on android i hope you guys did understand how and i think it's pretty easy certainly when you get used to it and let me know if you guys like this version or the first version with kind monster i personally like this one more because you have more options to work with in a light motion than kind monster also this app is a little bit um like it was made to make animation on it so i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead and like this video also subscribe if you are new to my channel thank you guys so so much for watching i'll catch you guys later peace out